As a consequence of the brutal Soviet oppression of the Hungarian uprising and freedom fight of October 23, 1956 against communist dictatorship, 250 students and faculty, plus families of the Chopron School of Forest Engineering, Hungary, left their homeland on November 4, 1956, and subsequently settled in Canada at the invitation of the Canadian government. Their first permanent home was set up in Powell River, British Columbia, through the generosity of the Powell River Paper Company, whose successor, the Catalyst Paper Corporation, assisted in the 60th anniversary celebration of that event. The celebrators wish to express their thanks and gratitude for the welcome and generosity that was shown towards the group. accommodation for us since they just finished the upgrading of their meal and the accommodation became vacant and they have offered it to us which we of course accepted. The interesting thing that our group operated during this time of our university as an independent but somewhat tied to the identity of the forestry faculty of UBC under the name of Chopron Division and the last class graduated in 1961. Now I, I, I think I have made, left out a very important issue when I mentioned Les Yojo. He has taken as ill but he is one of our most respected talented and devoted member of the alumni. He has been recognized as a research scientist in new technology in his career, and he also, on his own, developed a marvelous skill of wood carving. Now, uh, the wood carving, Pennsylvania Great Gate at UBC, along with the copy of it, which is resembles somewhat like a totem pole, but more to the, to the historical motives of the Transylvanian people. On behalf of the City of Powell River Council, the citizens of Powell River, it is my great honor to commemorate both the 60th anniversary of the Hungarian Revolution and the UBC's Sporten alumni. Before coming here this evening, I took the time to familiarize myself with the history of the sport and alumni and the revolution so that I could be reminded of the efforts and struggles that the refugees endured in order to make the long journey to Powell River. They brought education and expertise and developed a fundamental footing that paved the way for our community. Forestry is imperative to Powell River. We actually just celebrated 100 years of paper making and it provides our peoples with jobs as well as encouraging our economic development and stability. To understand that they to this day still meet monthly and hold annual picnics is to be admired. 
You continue to work together not only for yourselves, but for the good of the whole forestry community through grants, scholarships. These acts of kindness and giving do not go unrewarded. Hence, their continued successes. We are grateful that they managed to endure the difficult times and strengths, persevered, and you did so with grace. Together, you helped build this foundation and together continue to nurture it. We offer our sincere thanks to all of you. In closing, I wish to state that Powell River is humbled to have played a role that they did in this crucial time in past history and helped the Hungarian people create a foothold in Canada. We are proud that we were able to play a significant role in welcoming and helping to nurture your continuous studies in forestry under the UBC banner and also employed some of the refugees as they struggled to start a new life. Both in Powell River and the great Hungarian community have benefited. Power River is honored to know that our small part in this journey for so many has not been forgotten. God bless you all. Thank you. My name is Nicholas Simons and uh, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation to be part of your celebration. Your 60th commemoration, celebration, looking back on an incredible story uh, in Canadian history. And as Joe is sitting next to me, so I was very polite tonight, and his worship, and everyone, I'm just pleased to see a Dean, Dean Innes here from, from UBC. I think it's just a wonderful evening to be able to talk about something that is maybe not as well known as it should be in our community. So I did do some research. Thank you. Yes, very good. So I and I and I thought uh, I didn't know how to say it, but it's Chopron. Yes. And yes, Excellent. thank you Excellent. very much. <laughs> the tutorials worked, Joe. <laughs> and I and I thought about it's not just the, the the history, but it's the stories that we can learn from that history. And I think part of that makes us think about what the power of good that government can have when the offer came from Pickerskill and Sinclair to make this a possibility. And I think, I hope that we in Canada can have a government that is, as, uh, gives that kind of foresight for future possibilities. Because we can learn a lot from, from the stories from our past. And we can also learn about you know, the, the, the sad parts of our history, we can learn through that. And I know that 1956 was an important year, and I grew up in Montreal, and my, I was thinking, I, I, I looked at the, at the society and at UBC's um, important role, but I also thought about the role of the Hungarian community in our, in our beautiful country. And I have to say that my first experience with Hungarian culture was food, and the second was music. Because as a, as a child in Montreal, I remember there was a Hungarian chef who made these delicious, I think she called them Bootsy, but they were like, what? Bootsy. Yeah. Bootsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was only four or five. It might have been my first word at four or five, too. That's a little late, but you know, I'm a politician. So, and the second one was a violin teacher who came from Budapest. Uh, Yori Terabeshi, who my, doc, my sister studied with as a violinist, and she played a lot of bar talk. And as a child, I remember hearing her practicing over and over and over. So in my DNA, I have Hungarian music, <laughs> good or bad. She was only eight or nine, so it was pretty good. And bar talk. Oh, anyway, I just wanted to 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 point out that the, our personal experiences with the mosaic that is Canada wouldn't be the same without the contribution of the Hungarian community. And so much of that community can be recognized in the group here. So thank you for taking, taking the risk and, and com confronting the fear associated with the time of 1956 and 57 because your contributions to our community may not always be recognized, but tonight we formally recognize that contribution. And I think it's with thanks that we, we welcome you back to Powell River 
a beautiful community. We can learn from your stories, and we can thank you for all that you've done for our community. Thank you very much. The Right Honorable Nicholas Simons, His Worship Mayor Formosa, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure to be here. Servus. <laughs> 207 years ago, forestry started in Hungary <laughs> at the Akkad Kalman Roland, accompanied by what really was one of my predecessors, Dean George Allen, made some very wise decisions 60 years ago. And that was that you should come to UBC. And I think we are still living with the legacy. In fact, I know we are still living with the legacy because I still have a guy called Tony Kozak <laughs> who comes into the faculty every day. He was teaching students until this year. He's now stopped. But his son, Rob Kozak, is my associate dean for undergraduate, following in the footsteps of Tony Kozak. So things continue. And we, I think we're seeing the same happening in the industry side. Joe Senior, Joe Junior. And I'm sure there are many others. One of the things that really struck me was what a big impact the Chopron alumni, as, they, as you now are, but at the time the Chopron students and faculty made to our faculty. At that time, we had roughly 100 students and as far as I can work out, maybe five professors. They were suddenly joined by 200 students and 14 professors. It trebled the size of our faculty. I'm sometimes asked about our faculty today and my boss says to me, are you sure you've you know, maybe, maybe got too many international students? And I say, well, we have 35%, which is one of the highest at UBC. But in 1957, we were 68% international. <laughs> so what's your problem? <laughs> and she hasn't got an answer to that. <laughs> I gather that UBC was not necessarily the best of hosts when you first came. I gather that you were taught in rather drafty old army huts. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that lectures were in the evenings. Yeah. At night. Yeah. We still do that. <laughs> the buildings maybe aren't quite so drafty as they were then, but certainly I was given a teaching assignment of Friday nights, six o'clock till ten o'clock. Oh, <laughs> um, not the best times. 141 of you graduated out of the 200. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not perfect. Mm -hmm. What was really interesting is that 32% of those 141 went on to do further degrees. And I'm curious why. I would like to think, as a European myself, that it's because of the intellectual tradition. You were all so good, so um, so keen on science, I would hate to think it's because you couldn't get jobs. <laughs> and I'm sure it wasn't, because I know that the Chopron alumni have made a huge impression on the um, forestry practices and forestry world of British Columbia. And I recall a quote made by Dr. G.C. Andrew that the Chopron alumni constitute one of the most profitable immigration dividends the country has had. We are, as a faculty, we have grown. We, I think, have built on the international tradition that you established. Um, we are now an extremely international faculty with over 70 countries represented in the faculty. We're about 37% to this year international. We have grown. We have this year surpassed a thousand undergraduate students. Oh my God. 
yeah, my God. <laughs> I would say that too. I was, we try and work out where to put them. Um, and 250 graduate students. We've been able to support those students thanks to the scholarships that you have established. What's the difference? UBC Forestry, and I think this is part of your legacy, is now the top faculty of forestry, not only in Canada, not only in North America, but I believe in the world. <clears throat> and it's thanks to you all. You started this, and it's my great honor to be able to continue the tradition that you have started. We have left a small gift for all of you. It was on your places, just a pin. I'm glad some of you found it and are wearing it. We also have a gift that we'd like to present to you as a collective. And it is going back to European traditions. A box made of wood. Canada is not very good at making things out of wood. It makes two by fours very well and it makes paper very well. But once it comes down to carving and handiwork, it's not quite so good. But this is a box. It was prepared by a group who are based in Hefley Creek. Uh, Rainer and Carol Schmidt are the makers. It's made of yellow cedar, oak, and a tropical hardwood called Wengi. And it wow. has the same logo as you have. Oh. Oh. Celebration of the Chopron alumni of UBC, recognizing their 60th anniversary in Canada and special relationship with the Faculty of Forestry. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Pen is marvelous. Of course, it's uh, in here. It's exactly the same yes. logo as you have yes. on the pen. So let's put it all up here. Thanks. You came to Canada the same year as I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done very well. Thank you. Well done. So, on behalf of Catalyst Paper, I'd like to formally welcome back the Chopron Group. A catalyst paper never been ud voslem a shoprani alumni eat Power River Ben. <laughs> well, I'm not done yet. Um, it's our honor to support this reunion in the same spirit as the Foley brothers did on the behalf of the Power River Paper Company back in 1957. Ape Foley as a Kilan says, Utven, Hateben, Catalyst Paper, Sinten, Tamoyatja, a Chopron alumni. Does anybody understand? Yeah. So far, so good. All right. Keep going. Um, as many of you may know, this is a very uh, special and personal occasion for me because, as has been pointed out, not only am I a second generation forester and graduate of UBC, but obviously um, the son of two of the guests here, Joe and, and, and Mary Nemeth. Mint ish meditesh as ech kulos nesen em le kezetesh eshemini shamo mamra hisen ejik vajok a shoprani alumni mashodik teratio yanek es sulem sulem is this as exhausting for you as me? <laughs> okay. So in closing, I'd like to acknowledge that the BC forest industry has truly advanced so much in the past 60 years, and truly in a large part due to the contributions of the Chopron graduates. Okay, this is tough. Befeye ze shul, seraten name, tol macholni, kuzanet hetemet, a shoprani alumni nak, a kik najvon, hosa yarlutak, a tatromani, erde set, fellow te se 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 se
thank you, the Kristen MC pen, and now the most important part. I need my wife. Can you pass my wife? Oh yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, sir. So in closing, a toast to the reunion. Oh! <laughs>